It's the oldest sports car company in Italy. The passion for Alfa Romeo is in the DNA of every Italian. A brand built by glory. Alfa was the most important brand in the Italian motorsport. And forged through hardship. Alfa Romeo has had more dark times than they've had bright times. Flashes of incredible brilliance, followed by decades of nothing. Now, Alfa Romeo is taking their bravest step by building their very first SUV. The Stelvio will send the message that Alfa is back. It's the most important car right now for Alfa Romeo because they need to sell volume. The most important model right now might well be the most important ever, and it's called the Stelvio. It's a 280 horsepower machine that blasts 0 to 60 in just 5.5 seconds. A vehicle that boasts a 144 mile an hour top speed. And an SUV that drips with sex appeal while carrying the weight of an entire brand on its sculpted shoulders. This is one of those moments where if this doesn't work, they're back to the drawing board. They could go extinct. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio, a machine built to bring glory back to a storied mark. Alfa Romeo needed a big turnaround because if they just kept going on the way they were, the party was going to be over. To keep the party going, the brand decides to enter the most competitive segment in the car industry for the very first time. When you go into the most competitive markets and win, You've really made a name for yourself. You've really made a statement that says, I can do it better. And I'm the leader, and these guys need to catch up. The quest to do it better starts in the small town of Piedimonte San Germain in south central Italy. Inside one of the most advanced automotive factories in the world. This is the this facility was built in 1970, so it has a long history. Welcome to the Casino Assembly Plant and the home of the Alfa Romeo Giulia Sedan and Stelvio SUV. The fact that the company chose Casino for the rebirth of the brand is a source of great pride for us. In 2014, Alfa Romeo spends 1.3 billion euros to revitalize the factory. The massive refurbishment belies a tremendous ambition. By 2020, Alfa wants to build 400,000 cars annually. That's a far cry from the Mark's more recent history. At one time, this was not the case. Alfa Romeo had basically given up, and now we have Alfa Romeo here on our chests, and we are proud. The factory is powered by a three megawatt solar array and harvests half a million cubic meters of rainwater per year. Yet the real reclamation is the area itself. The Casino factory is the largest factory in the region. So it forms the economic reality of the region. The city is tied to the expansion of this factory. Beyond the sense of pride we feel, there is also a new sense of mission, a relaunching of the factory and even of the region, because as we know, our entire area is heavily influenced by the factory. It is obviously very, very important. 5,300 people work here. That's a lot of people. 
but there is also much more work generated by this factory. So having the possibilities to have factories and to demonstrate that it is possible to build cars well and competitively in Italy is one of our missions. All of those jobs lie in between two of Italy's most famous urban centers. Cassino is situated in a strategic place halfway between Naples and Rome, so it influences two different populations, which are very different from one another. We are right in the middle. While Rome and Naples might be vastly different, the passion felt for Italy is exactly the same. Italy is known throughout the world for its food, its art, its good wines, and now for its automobiles. It's impossible to separate uh, Alfa Romeo from Italy because uh, Alfa Romeo is one of the mirrors of Italian culture. Instilling emotion begins on the factory floor, where every day they build over 600 new vehicles. To realize we are creating emotion, we aren't just building cars. In a land famous for its antiquity, the factory builds on its own history. Over the past 45 years, more than 7 million cars have rolled off the casino line. And the connections for both the land and the machines run deep. I love to work in this factory. I am connected to this factory because my mother passed on to me the love and desire to work here. I practically grew up here. Today, it's not unusual for car companies to build their vehicles outside their native country of origin, using parts from a vast array of nations. The Stelvio is decidedly different. 100% of the machine is made in Italy. Alfa is known worldwide for its history and for its important past. I think it can truly become a symbol of made in Italy. The manufacturing industry is very important for Italy, especially automotive manufacturing. There's a marketing and there's a human component to the idea that your Italian car is built in Italy. If Alfa Romeo were building the Stelvio in Mexico or the US or Canada or Australia or anywhere else, intuitively, there's probably no real difference, but I, in my heart somewhere, I feel kind of like my Italian car should be built in Italy. For years, being built in Italy is both a blessing and a curse. The machines might be a joy to drive, but often the reliability is sadly suspect. Today, that stereotype is changing one car at a time, thanks to some high-tech bits of kit and a bold ambition to live on the bleeding technological edge. This is one of the factories that is in the vanguard as far as automotive production is concerned. And I can't neglect to mention how important it is to do it in my native land. This is Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 is Alpha's term for the fourth industrial revolution. The first transformation takes place right before the start of the 20th century, with the dawn of mechanization. The second arrives with the invention of mass production. Then, industry enters its third wave when computers and robotic automation come on the scene. The goal of Industry 4.0 is to add cybertech that enables workers to be safer and far more efficient. This is a 4.0 factory, which means we have smartphones, which I can show you, that give us updated information in real time through an app. 
Even if we are not at a particular station along the line, we can see any defects generated, any operator calls and where they came from, or any calls for needed materials. Getting closer to the tech helps build a better machine. But reinvigorating the brand requires a touch of art and a bit of Italian drama.